Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening uh, whenever and wherever you're watching this video from. Uh, well, we, are, we are given 2024 mathematics paper 2, this is grade 9 internal exam question, and this is simultaneous what? Simultaneous equation. Now, I'm going to show you, we're going to use both methods, the elimination and the substitution what? method. So let's start with the el elimination what? Let's start with the elimination method. So when you look at these two variables, we have x and y, okay? So let's eliminate x first because the coefficients are the same. So it's easy to eliminate x. Now, look at this. When signs, look at this. When you look at the coefficient of uh, x is 5, positive 5, positive. So you have same signs. So we're going to subtract. Same signs we subtract, different signs we add. So it will be 5 minus 5 to give us 0. Now what is 2 minus negative 3? 2 minus negative 3 is the same as we have 2 minus, oh, I mean 2 minus negative 3. Positive, negative plus negative is positive. So we have 2 plus 3, which is just positive 1, positive 5. Okay, so here we have 5, 5y five is equals to now what is 3 minus 8? 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Okay? Negative, negative 5 there. Then we divide both sides by 5, even here by what? By 5. And we're going to have find the answer. 5, 5 will divide, will cancel. Then y is equals to positive times divided, divided by negative is negative. 5 into 5, 1. So the value of y is what? Is 1. Let's find the value of what? The value of x. Okay? Having found the value of y, let's find the value of x. So you can get n of the 2. You'll find the same answer. Let's get the first one first. Let's get the first one. 5x plus 2y is equal to 3. Okay? So we are finding x now, so it will be 5x plus 2, what is the value of y? The value of y we found negative 1, okay, is equals to 3. So here 5x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, is equals to 3, okay. Then we solve, we collect the, uh, we collect like terms, so the negative 2 plus the cosine, it will be positive 2. So we have 5x is equals to 3 plus 2. All together, 3 plus 2. Then 5x is equals to 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay? 3 plus 2 is 5. So divide both sides by 5. Okay? x is equals to 1. Therefore, um, x is equals to 1 and y is equals to negative 1. These are the what? The answer. Now, some of you may, uh, may be asking, uh, uh, okay, what if I get the second equation, this equation, and not this one? Will I find the same answer, value of x? If you get this one, let me just do this here. If you get the 5x minus 3y is equals to 8, remember we're finding for what? We're solving for x. We've already found the value of y, which is negative 1. Okay, like that. Then 5, uh -huh. 5x, negative plus negative, positive 3. Okay? is equals to 8 then 5x is equals to 8 the 3 will go to the other side and becomes negative what negative 3 then 5x is equals to 8 minus 3 is what is 5 over 5 over 5 then x is equals to 1 still more you find the same what the same answer okay you can copy you can copy, okay? Now, listen. 
you have used elimination, now let's use substitution one. Substitution method to solve the same the same question. Okay? Now let's do the sub what substitution method. Let me show you the substitution what? Substitution method. Now substitution method. Um this is exactly what you need to do. Let's get the first one here. The first equation. Uh, phi is 5x plus 2y is equals to 3. Okay. So this is a substitution method. I can choose. I want to solve for... Uh, I want to solve for x. Okay. So I'll do this. 5x is equals to two, uh, the 3. 3. Then the 2y will go to the other side. And it becomes what? Negative 2y. Okay? Negative 2y. So, I want, I want x to be independent here. So, I'll divide both sides by 5, 5. Like this. Then x is equal to 3 minus 2y over 5. So, this is the value of what? The value of x okay this is the value of x so i'm going to substitute uh, here to solve for what to solve for x and y okay so there are five what is the value of x the value of x is three open bracket two y over five close bracket minus three y is equals to is equals to eight Okay, I'm going to solve for what? So this 5 and this 5 cancel. We're just remaining with 3 minus 2y minus 3y is equals to is equals to 8. Okay, so you can solve here. This 3 can go to that side. So, but you can solve here negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5y is equals to 8. Then the 3 crosses the cosine becomes minus what? Minus 3. So here we have negative 5y is equals to 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay? Then you divide both sides by negative, negative 5, even this side by what? By negative. So when you divide both sides by negative, y is equals to. Negative 5 into positive 5 is negative, negative 1. So we have found the value of uh, y. Now, having found the value of y, it's easy to find the value of, of, of y, the value of x. You can get any, you can use any of the two, the first or the second equation. So let's use the first one. Let's use the first one. So since the first one is 5x plus 2y, remember this is sub what? Substitution method. Okay? Substitution method, we've done, we've already done elimination. So it's equals to 3. Okay? So 5x plus 2, the value of y we've already found negative 1, so we can substitute with negative 1 there, is equals to 3. Okay? Then 5x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 is equals to 3. Then 5x, uh, the negative 2 crosses the cosine. So we, we already have the positive 3. So this one becomes a, uh, uh, the remain positive 3. Then this one becomes positive 2. Then uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. When you divide both sides by 5, I'm going to find um, x to be positive 1, okay? x to be positive 1, same as elimination method. Therefore, x is negative 1, y, I mean x is positive 1, y is negative 1, negative 1. Same, if you choose this one, still you're going to find the, the same answer. Thank you so much. See you in the next question.